guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another ship with me video. This is going to cover my Labor Day weekend sales. Essentially, the last time that I shipped was Friday afternoon. So this is from then until now. It is currently uh, Tuesday the 7th at 3 p.m. So let's go ahead and just get into it. I have all of my labels here. I've pulled everything that's sold. I've already double checked everything for flaws. I've lint rolled everything and we are ready to go. So our first sale is a two-piece bundle. It is first piece is this Zara pink turtleneck sweater. You may notice that I am going to go kind of quick today just because we have a lot of stuff to ship and I am running late on time. I actually got up this morning and um, this is the second item. It's a little vintage wool skirt with the plaid detail on the side. Super cute. I uploaded a thrift haul this morning and I uploaded a bunch of stuff to Poshmark and so um, I had to kind of, you know, fast track it over here to my office to get all of this stuff shipped. So it's been a pretty busy day. So this bundle, the buyer bundled and then sent me a $45 offer, which I accepted. That made my earnings $36. I paid for... So my net profit was $32. These were both extremely fast sales, I would say within a week or a week and a half of being listed. The Zara, I loved. Pink has been a trendy color. Turtlenecks, always trendy. It was super soft and it was a newer tag. And then on the skirt, I picked that up based on style as well as material. Um, you know, the mini, mini skirts and like a plaid print are a pretty classic style of skirt and it was a wool blend okay next up another bundle first piece is this pair of american eagle size 10 super distressed mom jean faded these are the yeah the mom jean Lots of distressing throughout. Um, this is uh, the newer tag distressed American Eagle like high waisted jeans. I would say that's like one of my top five bread and butter items to sell. They sell so fast, so consistently. American Eagle does have sales like on their website a lot, but this the trendier styles like the mom jean the dad jean <laughs> um you know all the distressed jeans i don't think they go on sale quite as often or if they do but not as much so that's why they kind of retain their resale value a little bit better okay and then last second and last piece in the bundle are these rainbow flip-flops these retail for about 55 ish um, and even though they're flip-flops, but they are genuine leather, so people really like them. So this bundle, I sent out an offer of $50 with discounted shipping. It was accepted, making my earnings $37.54. Let me put this on silent. $37.54, I paid Four for both items and this is a 10.95 so this is this is box 10.95 this is box 10.92 this is my smaller bundle box that's my larger bundle box um, so did I finish saying my net profit on this bundle was $33.54 yeah, I always list all of my box numbers that I order free from USPS down below. If you guys are curious which boxes I order, you can order any that you like, but 
Um, I do have a list down below of all of the ones that I like to order that work best for you know what I'm selling and shipping. Okay, next, uh, yet another bundle. This is really fun. Okay, so this is again this is a different box this is box seven this is like my big my largest bundle box and I always line the bottom with a piece of paper so the first thing to sell was a bundle of vintage beach towels I just picked these up at the bins this one has like a pop art um, what do you call these palm tree print it's striped really cool and retro and then two more this one is adorable I didn't know it when I uh, was filming the thrift haul for this but there's a little plane printed at the top corner and it's like carrying a banner and the banner says escape with like a sunset this is I mean that's that's really neat I, I just thought these were super cool when I found them at the bins and you know vintage kind of pop art stuff is popular and um, honestly I mentioned it when I hauled them but I just kind of wanted to keep them from going to a landfill I thought they were too cool to just be kind of discarded this one says keep off the grass with a daisy print so yeah super happy to get these sold so that was the first thing and then I am going to add I'm just going to add another piece of paper between the clothing item which is this Suburban Riot graphic uh, crew neck sweatshirt that says take a hike. I'm actually wearing a Suburban Riot, Suburban Riot t-shirt currently myself. I really really like their stuff. I think the messages are, you know, super cool and interesting. I'm just going to add one more piece of paper and then I will add the thank you sticker on top. So when the buyer opens it, it's presentable and nice, welcoming and whatnot. So this bundle, uh, I got an offer of, I think actually we countered a couple times, I forget, but we did settle on $50 for the bundle. That made my earnings 40. I probably paid $5-ish, probably a little bit less for all this stuff at the bins. And so my net profit was $35 on this bundle. Super happy with that. I really hope she enjoys those beach towels. I kind of wanted to keep them because we have a pool in my apartment complex so I'm always using beach towels but I don't know I love to list stuff and show it in haul videos so I had to get those listed they're off to a good home okay next up we have a pair of shoes and these are like a little navy espadrille they sold for $22 my earnings were $17.60 and my net profit was $15.60 on these and I'm going to put these in an envelope just because you know they're a, a like a textile cloth upper you know nothing can really get scratched or you know scuffed up so I think an envelope is fine for those cloth and stone tank top I mentioned in the haul that I was kind of hesitant to get this only because it's not a super substantial piece however it ended up selling for full price very quickly so I'm happy that I got it I just really like the fabric it's like a brushed cotton and I love the navy as well as like the little fringe accents on it so yeah super glad I went ahead and got it but sold full price $22 that made my earnings 
15 14 and my net profit $13.14 so that was awesome Another pair of shoes. These are chocolate blue. Chocolate has no E on the end and blue is spelled B-L-U. These are sold at Nordstrom. They're like a pleated leather loafer. I think they're pretty expensive. They definitely retail for over a hundred dollars and they ended up selling by offer of $27 i'm happy with they did have a little bit of wear at the back heel which i did note but they're still in awesome shape and i will probably put these in a box and if i add a pair of shoes to a box and there's a lot of room between where the shoes are and you know where the rest of the box is I will just crumple up a piece of paper and add it to the box to the top of the box so that the shoes don't you know move around at all inside of the box that keeps them from getting damaged or just kind of moving around at all my net profit on these shoes came out to $19.60 Eileen Fisher size extra large metallic knit sweater. This is super pretty and it did sell to um, one of my favorite customers. She is a repeat buyer. She is the sweetest and um, she seems to have really good style I have to say. I think all of her um, purchases have been some of my favorite pieces so that's fun. She actually ended up purchasing this sweater for full price, so that was really awesome. If you're watching this now, thank you so much. Um, that made my earnings $36 and my net profit $34. I love the metallic knit on this sweater. Anything Eileen Fisher you know is amazing quality and um, just kind of great basics. This one had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of extra flair, that metallic knit, but still, still a great basic. Speaking of great basics, this is a Club Monaco mock neck 100% merino wool sweater. Super high quality. I will definitely be stocking up on excellent fabric sweaters, even if they are plain like this. People love their basics. Merino wool, 100% cashmere, alpaca, yak. People, you know, they love nice fabrics. And they are very expensive retail, so they do often turn to the resale market. This one sold. This was also a full price sale at $35, which was great. That made my earnings $28 and my net profit $26 on this sweater. Okay, this was also a very fast sale. I would say within a couple weeks of being listed. Okay, this is just a little t-shirt by Vince. It is the newer tag Vince, and it's a size medium. I picked this up because stripes, you know, a very classic print. It was a newer tag, and it did have a really good stock photo that, you know, made it look really trendy and cute. This sold for $20, which I'm happy with. I only paid two. And so my net profit was still $14. Honestly, every sale adds up. Everything adds up. And, um, 
you know, it's super easy to take photos of, list, measure. So, I feel like I am flying through these sales. I don't know, you guys always say these videos are relaxing for you, but um, this one might be a little more fast paced than normal. Okay, next. Um, oh, okay, another awesome, awesome sale. Again, I think the same person who donated the vintage pop art beach towels donated these. They are vintage. I think they're from the 70s. The brand is Hillasol, H-I-L-A-S-A-L. And they have this amazing butterfly print to them. The person who bought them said that she is going to use them in her new home for decor, which I'm super excited about. I think these are like probably one of my top 10 favorite bins finds ever. Um, I'm really a sucker for, you know, obviously I like picking up name brands because they sell for a high amount and it's fun, but my absolute favorite stuff is the one of a kind kind of vintage pieces that are just super unique. They're irreplaceable, priceless, and that definitely is what these towels are kind of the embodiment of. So there's this big towel and then we have the two. I noted in the listing that I wasn't sure if these were like smaller towels to make it a set or if these were um, like bath mats to, you know, put on the floor. So yeah, still un still unclear on that. I guess it really could be either, um, just depending on how you want to use them, but I see them more as bath mats, I think. So yeah, they have a couple loose strings here, but really the condition is excellent on these. I didn't really see any staining or how did I fold that one? I want to fold it. Uh, well, whatever. That'll do. Um, yeah, no real like staining or flaws, tears, nothing like that. So I think they were, you know, really well cared for. So these towels. My Posher VA extension sent out an offer on these. I want to say for something in the 60s. I don't I don't really know, honestly. Um, and I got a counter offer for $48, which I did accept. Um, which I did accept. I thought that was a good counter for sure. And I might have to use a big box on these. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use a big box on these. So I'll do that. I'll switch those over um, after I'm done filming. Okay. Next we have a Lulu's burgundy jumpsuit full length. It has a halter neckline. Really pretty. This kind of like more evening wear stuff from Lulu's sells the best for me. This did take, I would say maybe six months to sell, but a lot of the more like flirty dresses and stuff sell pretty quick for me. So I do, I do like picking Lulu's up. I most specifically prefer midi maxi length dresses from Lulu's. I don't really typically pick up the mini, mini dresses just because I feel like they're not really substantial enough. But, you know, if you can find like a printed floral maxi dress with K 
cascading ruffles or, you know, just any kind of cool flirty detail. It's pretty popular. Alrighty, moving on. Eileen Fisher, 100% linen. This is like a midi navy dress with little pockets in front, size medium. And this one, I forget what I had it listed at. I want to say like 30 five-ish maybe and someone offered me 20 which I did counter to 25 and then she accepted that made my earnings 20 and my net profit $18 on this okay next up Lauren Moshi let me scoot these down a little bit Lauren Moshi this graphic sweater it says peace and love with like a peace sign on the front and this sold extremely quickly. It did have several likes. Um, it sold for $40. I had a couple offers on it. I was going back and forth with a couple people and then someone finally came in. I think my lowest was 40. I kept countering that on everyone and then someone came in and just offered me 40. So I went ahead and accepted that. This Lauren Moshi stuff, some of the prints, you know, people collect or the skull stuff is really popular. I think this whole peace and love uh, kind of line is also really kind of big. People look for it. So my earnings were 32 on this. I paid two, so my net profit was $30. up we have this Brandy Melville Jada dress I have sold this so many times now it's like a tiered bodice with spaghetti straps they are adjustable spaghetti straps and um I yeah I had this listed I want to say either 25 or 28 and I got an offer for 20 which I accepted that made my earnings or my net profit $14 on this. I um, I mentioned about a month ago, I found a couple of these and I was kind of hesitant to pick them up because I didn't know if they were still selling. Well, I kid you not, this is like the fourth or fifth one of this exact dress, the data dress that I have sold, you know, within the past month, I would say. So people are definitely looking for them. I think they're really nice because you can kind of, you can wear it and then you can put a sweater over it or, you know, you could wear like leggings underneath it, wear it by itself, wear a jean jacket over it. Very versatile. Next, Patagonia athleisure dress, really flattering kind of chest area, very soft material. I just grabbed this at the bins. It's super lightweight. I probably paid maybe a dollar for it. Anytime I see any type of athleisure brand or athleisure style dress like this from a reputable brand, this is Patagonia. I would also get Title IX, Athleta, um, Toad and Company, any of those I love love to get they are a very consistent seller and this one I th yeah this one was another sale that posher va posher va sent out a 28 dollar offer with discounted shipping on this dress and that was accepted so my earnings came out to $19.94 and my net profit was right around $19. So that's great. Really in and out the door on that one. Okay, another Brandy Melville Jada dress. This one's cream. Again, you have that tiered bodice. This would be so, so cute with like a chunky long line sweater tunic um, layered over top with like some knee high socks 
and booties, especially in the transitional weather. This one sold for 18. So I would say they always sell right around 20 to $25, um, right around that mark. And um, I did have one Jada dress that sold for like $38, I want to say. And that had a, it was, I think it was a sunflower print. It might've been like a daisy print, but that was a full price sale. I think someone had been looking for that print specifically. So keep an eye out for the floral Jada dress, printed Jada dresses. Next up we have a bundle. This is a, this is an anthropology TLA or TLA shacket, otherwise known as a shirt jacket, size extra large. I loved finding this piece. It has like raw edges all throughout. And this sold like next day or same day of being listed, which I knew it would sell quickly. Shackets were super popular. Like there was a phase where that's all, you know, people were talking about. I think, you know, obviously they kind of fizzled out in the summertime, but I'm thinking that they will make a big comeback in fall time. So that was the first piece to the bundle. And then next is this Beacon Cove dress. The brand did not matter to me, just the fact that this was a midi dress and it's 100% linen. I will pick up anything that, you know, fits that kind of, uh, you know, checklist. It's long line, 100% linen. I can add in my keyword lag and look and um, people love their linen. That's really, you know, that just seems to be proven true over and over again. So this bundle, the buyer bundled the two and then sent me a $62 offer, which I accepted. That made my earnings $49.60. I did pay $4 for both of these items. And so my net profit was $45.60 on this bundle super happy about that these are great solid pieces i really hope she likes them and enjoys them i think they're great kind of closet staples okay next another 100 percent linen dress this is flax also a midi length it's like a chocolate brown color it has pockets size medium i really love finding and selling flax i would say it's probably in my top 10 or 15 favorite brands. Let me refold this favorite brands to sell just because, you know, the material is really easy to work with. It's natural, breathable, and they just make really nice pieces. They also have fun little tags inside of each piece that say something kind of like empowering, like, you know, uh, I am empowered or, um, you know, I can do what I set my mind to do, or I can do whatever I set my mind to do, you know, just fun little sayings that kind of empower you. So that's always neat. It always kind of, um, is, makes it more fun when you're photographing. Okay. I actually ran out of envelopes. Let me go grab some envelopes. Okay. So this dress, it sold for $40. I had it listed at $45. The buyer sent me an offer of $40, which was obviously very reasonable. And I, that made my earnings $32. I paid $2. So my net profit was $30 on that dress. Okay, next. You know what? I think... I'm going to end the video now just because I have a whole lot of packages to take down and it's already four o'clock. So I need to get those down there so that no one gets angry at me at the post office. Um, I might make a second part showing the rest of my sales just because I do have 
so many. So, you know, I'll keep you posted on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry it was a little hectic and all over the place. I have been trying to do a lot recently, so bear with me on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.